Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a mini update on Cappy. Um, I wanted to do a small update on this printer because it should get more love. Uh, I only did one video on this and it's a really cool printer of mine. I'm really proud of it. So, but before that, I'd like to just mention if you're looking for an LDO Rook kit, they are out. Check out the link in the description below. There's three vendors selling the LDO Rook kit. It's an amazing kit. Um, if you wanna build a Rook and you don't wanna self source, that's a really, really awesome kit to um, build and assemble. It's, so, it's pretty neat. So check that kit out if you're interested in building a Rook. I wanna say a big thanks to everyone who has joined my Patreon. Um, as most of you know, I am trying to go full time with YouTube and 3D printing and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I do have a goal to get 600 Patreon uh, paid members. That's including YouTube membership as well. I'm at about 150 right now, so it is growing steadily and I really do appreciate that. If you do wanna support me, definitely check out the link in uh, the description below to join my Patreon or you can become a YouTube member as well. Very much appreciated, and I couldn't do this without um, all of your support. As you can probably hear, I actually have a mic now, so um, audio should be great going forward, fingers crossed. So that's really great. Um, so let's talk about Cappy a little bit here. So this is a small Cartesian or bed slinger 3D printer. Uh, very beginner friendly. It's very easy to assemble. It uses minimal parts. It's mostly linear rods with the exception of one linear rail on X just for rigidity. I did kind of intend to make this printer high performance. So the bed is unheated and it is a 3D printed bed to keep the weight down. Um, this thing will do a 17 minute benchy pretty easily without trying. Uh, that's what you see here. This is about just shy of uh, 17 minutes and I have a 17 minute bench sheet on my um, desk right there behind you. I've also done a pretty hilarious mod on this printer. This is a really awesome printer to mod. If you're interested in building your own 3D printer or modding, getting into modding, uh, learning Fusion 360, this is an easy model to wrap your head around because the belts are um, straight line. It's very, very easy to understand how the printer works. It's a great printer to learn clipper on, um, all that type of thing. So this printer does use BL Touch. Uh, we have belted Z. I will do a walk around of the printer off uh, near the middle of the video for you. Um, it is belted Z. It has two independent Z motors. So we do have clipper Z tilt here, and these are on a three to one gear reduction. Um, that prevents the axes from falling, gives a little bit more resolution, and it's just kind of a, a nice compact solution to have that Z work. It is also very expandable. So you can build this in larger sizes quite easily. As with all my printers, the frame is standard size in 50 millimeter increments. So if you wanna make this 50 millimeters bigger, you can just get 50 millimeter longer extrusions, 50 millimeter longer linear rails and, and linear rods, and you're essentially good to go. Um, you would have to design a, a slightly bigger bed, but that's not too big of a problem. I do believe there's been a couple people on my Discord who have built slightly bigger cappies. Um, you can also use some of these parts and convert over other printers. The frame is very straightforward and very simple. Um, it's just a great all around printer to, to use. This also supports uh, the Dragon Burner tool head made by Chirpy. So this supports a lot of hot ends. The whole idea of this printer is to use leftover parts you might have, or maybe you have a broken printer. Um, you can reuse the motors and fans and things like that, and just try to build this for as cheap as possible using leftover stuff. If you were to buy this new, it's about $300. Um, I know you can definitely buy an Ender 3 or um, 
Soval 3D printer or Neptune on a deal or something like that. That's not an apples to apples comparison. Those are completely different printers. DIY printers are generally more expensive. Uh, there's no economy of scale here. We're buying separate individual parts and getting them shipped and then we're assembling it. So, you know, that is one disadvantage to a DIY printer, but I think the pro greatly outweighs that with the enjoyment you get with building, tinkering. Um, if you wanna learn how to print faster, you wanna learn what lights your settings make a print faster or improve quality, all that kind of stuff. This is a great printer to learn that kind of stuff on. So um, it's just a great showcase of what you can do with one, a bed slinger, what you can do with minimal parts and minimal amount of money on a DIY build. So I really do encourage beginners, if they're on the fence about building a printer, take a look at Cappy. Um, it's pretty awesome. Join my Discord. There's an incredible amount of people on there. I believe we're almost at 6,000 members on Discord. It's a very friendly um, place to be. You can ask any questions you want. We're all very helpful on there. It, it is really a great Discord. Um, the big update though for this is the Mellow DP5 mainboard. So I recently found this mainboard out when I was designing my Delta Flyer 3D printer. Um, this is a five driver board, which Cappy needs because of the dual independent Z. Um, and it's only $35 Canadian. So it's, it's crazy inexpensive. It's much smaller than the Monster MKS-8. It makes way more sense. Um, you can use any Z stepper motors you want now. They do not, there's no chance of them running into the main board at all anymore. It, it just makes sense. So that is a really big quality of life update to this. It's a much cheaper main board and it fits much better into the frame. So if you're going to be building Cappy, that is the board I recommend. And I have updated the bill of materials for that. So that's really what I wanted to show off. I just wanted to put Cappy back into the light so more people can see it and that type of thing and uh, hopefully have fun building it and modding it and, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to do a little walk around here of the printer to show it off a little bit more. And then um, I'll end the video with a little bit of high speed printing on this printer. Firstly, I want to say a very big thanks to Sunlu for providing me filament. They have sent me their high speed PLA as well as their meta PLA. I have printed Cappy in all meta Sunlu PLA. I've used this PLA for over a year now. It's one of my favorite um, brands. I really like the colors. Uh, I am using this high speed PLA here. It's printing very well. Also, I'm um, very happy with the results there. We can kind of see here, um, this is one of the benchies I've been printing. So this is a 17 minute benchy on, on Cappy. Um, I don't have a high flow hot end or anything like that. So just ignore <laughs> some of the artifacts there. Um, we're, we're starting to run out of flow there, but very, very uh, happy with their PLA. And Sunlu has been my favorite brand for, for quite some time. So. Again, I want to say a big thanks uh, to Sunlu for sending me out some filament. Um, it really helps me with projects like this, and I encourage you to check out their filament as well. All right, so a close-up of Cappy. So we can see here Cappy gets its name from the Capton tape bed. Um, there's just really no point to run a heated bed on a printer this size. It keeps the weight down. Um, this y-axis is capable of 30,000 acceleration without much effort at all. Um, if you want to go much faster than that, I would highly recommend doing a mod to use linear rails on the y. These can be a bit noisy and Input Shaper doesn't seem to like linear rods that much for input shaping, I find. But anyways, um, 30,000 acceleration on Y is pretty achievable because there's almost no weight involved. Um, you could even achieve much higher accelerations on X if you got rid of the direct drive extruder and just went to a Bowden. The Bowden um, tube would be very short on this printer and it would be really fun to see some sub 10 minute benchies and things like that. 
uh, would be very capable on this printer. Frame, very straightforward. It's essentially two boxes. Um, I'm using these corner brackets here to really make it robust and stiff. Of course, we have the um, Rolohan wiring. No one should be surprised about that. Pretty par for the course. The star of the show though right now is the Mellow DP5 board. You can see how small this board is. Five drivers and we now have clearance for the Z motors. So any Z motors you have lying around will absolutely fit. We can see the gear reduction that we have here. So we have a 20 tooth pulley here and we have a 60 tooth pulley here giving us a 3 to 1 gear reduction. I am using the HGX light extruder, very inexpensive direct drive extruder there. Um, the bolt spacing for this is Sherpa Mini though, so you can basically run any extruder you want. Um, Dragon Burner does support all sorts of different extruders and all sorts of different hot ends. I am using a Triangle Lab CHC, just a cheap uh, ceramic um, heated hot end there. Works very, very well for my needs. Um, very simple belt path. The belt tensioning is right on the tool head itself. Very simple, low parts count, straightforward build. Um, come around back here. <laughs> Just for fun, I actually made a mount to mount a one of these large 120 millimeter fans just for extra cooling, just for hilariousness. I haven't even run out of cooling yet and I could probably print much faster on this. Um, I just wanted to get a video out for all of you. Uh, we can see our Y motor on the back here. Um, we do have a little bit of a limitation with the Y motor height, but you could always print standoffs for the feet if you wanted to raise this up. As always, I am using an AC adapter here. I literally just cut the end off the AC adapter and I wire it right into the main board. So we're only working with 24 volts. There's no 110 volts here. Again, very, very easy for beginners and very easy printer to, to use. So that's a really quick overview of Cappy. I'm gonna get a print going for you guys and you know, maybe just show off a print for a couple minutes so you can see one printing. Um, I might post a full um, print video if anyone wants that. Leave a comment below. And I will catch you guys next time.